Are you feeling a little uneasy about the state of the economy? You're not alone. A recent survey by Morning Consult found that 46% of Americans believe we're already in a recession, and 25% expect one to happen within the next year. But here's the thing, technically, we're not officially in a recession yet. A recession is defined as two consecutive quarters of declining economic growth, as measured by a drop in gross domestic product, GDP. Now, the US economy did finish 2022 with positive GDP. In fact, from October to December, GDP climbed at a 2.9% annualized pace. But that doesn't mean we're completely in the clear. The Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates to curb inflation, and while that's good for controlling prices, it could also slow down growth. So, what can you do to prepare for a possible recession? Well, the survey found that 31% of respondents have already started taking steps to safeguard their finances. But for the rest of us, it's not too late to start. In fact, half of Americans wish they had already prepared but haven't yet. One of the best ways to get your finances in order is to reduce your spending. Now, I know it's easier said than done, especially with prices skyrocketing at the grocery store. But don't let that discourage you. There are still ways to cut back and make room for other financial goals. My personal favorite tip is the 21-day budget cleanse. It's a simple and effective way to find areas where you can trim your expenses. For 21 days, take a closer look at every single bill in your household and see if you can get a better deal. Challenge yourself to find creative ways to save money and put that extra cash towards your savings or investments. Trust me, the 21-day budget cleanse is a game changer. It's a quick and easy way to take control of your finances and prepare for any potential recession. So, grab a pen and paper, and let's get started on your financial cleanse. It's time to boost your emergency savings and give yourself some peace of mind. A little extra cash set aside can go a long way in ensuring that unexpected events like car repairs or surprise bills don't ruin your financial plans. But let's be real, many of us would struggle to come up with $400 in cash on short notice. The key to building your emergency savings is to automate the process. By setting up automatic transfers from your paycheck into a savings account, you won't even have to think about it. The money will be there when you need it, and you won't even miss it. And even if the recession doesn't hit as hard as we fear, there's no such thing as saving too much money. So why not set yourself up for success and start building your emergency fund today? As the famous personal finance expert Mark Hamrick from Bankrate.com says, I have yet to meet anybody who saved too much money. So let's work towards being that person who has a smiling piggy bank stuffed with $100 bills. Certified financial expert, Matt Schultz, chief credit analyst at Lending Tree, suggests exploring options to lower the cost of your credit card debt. This could include taking advantage of a 0% balance transfer offer or a personal loan, or even simply asking your current credit card company for a lower interest rate. But don't let the fear of inflation and rising interest rates keep you up at night. By taking control of your debt, you can breathe a little easier knowing you're one step closer to financial stability. And let's be real, who doesn't love the feeling of a little extra cash in their pocket? So go ahead, give your piggy bank a pat on the back. You're on your way to a brighter financial future. We hope you had a great time reading our information and that it was valuable to you. We would truly appreciate it if you could take a moment to subscribe to our channel, give our video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on any of our informative and engaging content, and by giving the video a like, you'll help us create more of the content that you love. Sharing the video with your loved ones means you'll be spreading the wealth of knowledge and helping others too. We can't thank you enough for your support.